Numerical Computation, Chapter 4, Video 5. In this video, we will take a look at an example using Simpson's rules and also some um, sample code on how to um, implement the rule in MATLAB. So we recall the Simpson rule here on the top. Remember, all the even index function evaluations multiply by 2, and the odd ones multiply by 4, and the two boundary ones are just multiplied by 1. And the whole thing is added up and then multiplied with a factor of h over 3. Now let's take this example. Say I want to integrate a function that's square root of x squared plus 1. I want to integrate it from negative 1 to 1. And now we want to use Simpson's rule with n equals to 5. So remember, the n in the Simpson's rule is slightly different. If you have n equals to 5, and the actual number of points being used is 2n plus 1, which is 11 points. So here we um, set up um, the data for the f evaluated at those 11 points. So pay attention that this is actually the same data set as the one we used in example 1. So for xi from negative 1 to 1 with the interval 0 0.2, and I find the function value at all these points, and I denote them by fi. So here, in the formula, the h in the formula exactly equal to the interval length, which is 2, negative 1 to 1, right? And divided by 2n, which is 10. So the interval length is still 0 0.2. And then we can just plug in this formula and work it out. So it's h over 3. And in the bracket is f0, f10, that's counted once. And all the odd ones, f1, 3, 5, 7, 9, add up, and they will be multiplied by 4. And the even inner points, 2, 4, 6, 8, is multiplied by 2. And plug in the values that we have in this table into this f, and then add them up, and you get this number, 2.2955, blah, blah. If we compare this result with uh, the same result we get um, for the same problem but using trapezoid rule, remember with trapezoid rule, the answer was 2.30030 something. So we, with the Simpson's rule, we actually get a number that is slightly smaller. Okay. So here's the question for you to ponder. Now, this value is slightly smaller and I claim that this is actually a little bit more accurate. Could you um, intuitively explain how I could make this claim? And this claim holds for this particular example. So what's special about this example? So think about it. We now take a look at some sample codes that can be used in MATLAB. Okay, so um, let now I have the interval A, B, they're given and m, the number of uh, subintervals, are also given. And let's say the function func is also already defined. And we want to compute um, the integral with the Simpson's rule. Okay, so this is a possible algorithm that you can use. So what do you do first? Okay, you first compute your h is b minus a over 2 over n, and then um, since the even indices and the odd indices are treated differently, so I choose to generate a vector x odd that contains all the odd points. So that will be a plus h would be your first point, that's x1, and then and you jump over 2 times h. So you jump over two indexes, and you end at b minus h, that's um, x uh, um, 2n plus 2 minus 1. Okay, that's the second last one. So you see this will go through all the odd ones. And in the same way, I define all the even x indices. So it starts from a plus 2h, that's x2, and it increases by 2h. So jumps over two index until the end and not including the last point. Okay, so with this preparation done and uh, also being aware of how to use the MATLAB function sum, we can write out the Simpson's rule 
in just one line. So that will be h over 3 bracket multiplied by adding up all the function evaluations with the correct counting. So at the boundary a and b, it's multiplied by 1 and at all the odd x indexes, and this is multiplied by 4 after summing up, and at all the inner even ones, the function evaluation after you sum up is multiplied by 2, and then you just add them all up. Okay, so um, we see with the proper preparation, with the proper understanding of it, the coding actually can be very short and very efficient. Okay, um, next video we will take a look at our favorite subject, that is some error estimates.